first years and we are very happy to have you um, in our program this year and we trust and we hope that it's going to be a really exciting and a stimulating program for you and you are going to really enjoy studying with us at Nelson Mandela University. In today's session, um, you first introduce myself. My name is Dr. Candice Clark. I am the first year liaison lecturer for BFARM 1. So if you have any um, program related issues or um, any queries related to the pharmacy program, I will be the person that you would get in touch with. And today I'm going to introduce you to some of your first year lecturers and they are going to give a little bit of information about their modules, about the requirements, about whether or not you need to be on campus for any practicals and any other important information that is relating to their specific modules. But before we do that, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction um, into the pharmacy program um, and a, just a little bit of an orientation session. All right, so welcome again to our BFARM 1 lecture introduction session for 2022 and a little bit of an overview of what we're going to be discussing this morning. We're first going to have a little overview of the pharmacy department as a whole. How do the channels of communication work? Who are the important people that you need to know about? Then we're going to look at our modules and your timetable, how to read your timetable, how to understand various aspects of your timetable. Then I'm going to hand over to the individual lecturers where they will introduce themselves and their modules to you. And then we will close after that. So in terms of the pharmacy department, our HOD, um, Dr. Mbali Luvuno Kile, um, she is running our department. Then we have a very, very important person, Mrs. Susan van Staden. She is our department secretary. So I've included her email um, there on the side. Um, if you have any um, admin type queries or anything, then you would need to contact her. If you need to see the HOD, you would then go via the department secretary. So you would need to email her um, if you would need to see the HOD. Then um, I am Dr. Candice Clark. I am the first year liaison lecturer. So any um, first year related issues, I'm the person that you would need to contact um, in that regard. So in terms of the pharmacy department itself, how, how it is organized, we have our HOD. Then underneath the HOD, we have a group of advisors and um, or they're kind of like stream or various coordinators of various components of the pharmacy department. So um, as well as being your first year liaison lecturer, I'm also in charge of the chemistry in the pharmacy department. Then um, another lady that you will encounter is Mrs. Sarah Abrahams. She is in charge of the pharmacy people and systems. So that is your ZPS module. Anything that deals with pharmacy legislation, how to um, counseling patients and those sort of things, those would fall under pharmacy people and systems. So those are your ZPS modules. Then we have Ms. Nazreen Isaacs. She is in charge of the pharmaceutics stream. So your pharmaceutics is how do you make your medicines? OK, so you would later on in the year, you'll actually be preparing ointments and things like that. Um, so she would be in charge of that. And then a lady that you will probably only meet next year is our clinical pharmacy advisor. That's Dr. Leah Critiotis Germanis. And she deals with all of your clinical pharmacy modules. So those are all of your ZCP modules and you start with those in your second year. So those are the advisors that are in charge of the various academic streams, if you like, in the pharmacy program. So how does or how are you required to communicate with people in the department? We have a huge number of students and also a large number of staff. So how do you as a student um, go about communicating with someone? One of the first jobs that you as a B Farm 1 class are going to need to do is you're going to need to elect a class representative. And this is normally done during one of your ZPS lectures where you would then nominate someone or put yourself forward if you feel that, that it's, it's a job you would like. What the class rep does is the class rep is your first point of call. So if you have a class related issue, a module related issue, 
um, anything that deals with B Farm one or something that you're having a problem with, you would then need to go to your class rep. Then the class rep would then approach the module lecturer. So let's say, for instance, you are you've got 25 tests scheduled for one week and you feel that you would like to see if it's possible to maybe shift them. As a class, you would then approach your class representative. So that's one of your classmates that you would then elect. That class representative would then approach the module lecturer with suggestions or queries. Um, if the module lecturer cannot solve the problem or you don't feel that there has been um, a suitable solution, the module lecturer would then approach either the stream advisor if it is a academic related issue, so something to do with, for instance, your ZPS module or chemistry or something like that, or if it's a program or more sort of administrative related issue, they would then approach the liaison lecturer. So let's say you've got um, problems with your um, first year success program and there's issues, you would then approach me directly, okay? Our job is then to approach the HOD. So it kind of funnels the requests um, along a certain pathway, and this is the process that you are expected to follow. Um, please feel free to communicate with us by email, or if you want to make a Teams meeting, or if you are on campus for your practicals and your module lecturer is there for your practicals, you're welcome to um, make an appointment or make a time to see um, your specific lecturer or the specific person that you want to communicate with. So it's very important that you communicate with your class rep as soon as there is an issue so we can get the issues resolved as soon as possible. OK, then moving on to your timetable. If you have not been able to access your timetable on the student portal, um, I will then be emailing the, the a PDF version of the departmental timetable to you quite soon. So there are a few things that you will notice on the timetable. Sometimes you will see that you've got more than one module per time slot. Don't panic. That is perfectly um, planned and it is the way that we've intended it. Because we've got the class split, split into different groups, you would then have different groups possibly doing different practicals at the same time. So you would see, for instance, on a Friday, you've got a ZTM 101P and a ZPS 122P at the same time. That just means a class would be split into groups and you would then either be doing a ZTM 101 practical or a ZPS 122 practical. The groups that you are put in, it will be communicated to you by email, so don't panic about that yet. You will be told where you need to be and for which practical um, you're going to be attending. So the information that you will get off your timetable is obviously the time slot, and we work in double periods. So period one and period two make up a 70 minute double period. You would then see your module code. So for instance, ZTM 102. Um, ZTM would either relate to chemistry or pharmaceutics. Um, and that you would learn as you become familiar with your, your module codes. If you see a P, that means you have a practical. Um, so this is now for the, the timetable that I'm going to email you. And then you will also see a venue. Um, at the moment, the majority of your lectures are going to be online or done via the Teams platform or however your specific module lecturer is going to communicate with you. For a number of our practicals, there are going to be practicals that are on campus. So for instance, if you see a venue next to your practical, for instance, 120288, that means that it is in building 12 on the second floor in room 88. But um, as you become more familiar with your modules and the venues, um, everything will be communicated to you normally by email by your specific module lecturer. So just to show quickly what your timetable will look like, this is the internal one that I will um, send to you. You can see then we have, um, let me just get my pointer on. So you would see here on the left hand side, you've got your period, so period one and period two, and the time that it starts. So period one and two start at 7.45, okay? The next period after that, period three and period four, that would then start at 9.05, okay? So that you will see if you look at the starting times on your um, timetable. 
So on a Monday, the first thing that you would have is a ZFP 101 practical. So you've got a P on there and that venue would then be communicated to you. That is building 127, 0217. But again, you would see as we go along. Um, on a Tuesday, you've got a ZTM 101, but there is no P next to it. That means it's a lecture. And at this stage, the venue is indicated, but at this stage, the lectures will be online. If you have a look on a Thursday, um, for instance, you would see that there are two modules indicated at the same time. This is where you have two practicals that are on at the same time. You will either be doing a ZTM 101 practical or a ZPS 122 practical, and you will be split into your groups. Again, please note that this timetable is for the entire pharmacy department. You need to look in the B Form 1 row, please, in order to find your modules. All right, so that's if you can't find your timetable on the student portal. OK, and then very quickly taking a look at the modules that you will be covering um, in the two semesters of B Farm 1. You've got your ZPS 122, that is Pharmacy People and Systems, and your lecturer is Mrs. Claire Wilgelbrook, and she will be introducing herself shortly. You have ZTM 101, Pharmaceutical Chemistry, and that is going to be presented by Dr. Um, Abu Bakr Abrahams. Um, I don't think he is in the meeting at the moment, um, so I will give a brief overview of what you will be covering in that module. Then you have ZFP 101, that is your Anatomy and Physiology module. You also do another um, set of ZFP in the second semester, so that is you will do this over the entire year, your anatomy and physiology. Then you have your physics module, so that is ZTM 121, and that will be covered by Dr. Lindsay Westrott. And then you also do a computing fundamentals um, module, and that your lecturer and your grouping will be co um, confirmed later on because that is normally quite a big group. In the second semester, you do ZTM 102, that is physical pharmacy. That is where you begin to learn about pharmaceutics, how to compound medicines, but it is more of an applied chemistry module. So I'll be explaining that to you later on. Then you do ZFC 101, which is organic chemistry for pharmacists. That is going to be presented by Prof Benita Barton. And then um, Dr. Johnny Jebu again will be taking you or coordinating the ZFP 102 module. And then you also do a biochemistry module in the second semester. And that would be presented by Prof. Kamenita Frost and Prof. Morena van der Venter. And there is a presentation that relates to that. All right, so that is just a brief overview um, of your modules and what we will be covering in this session. Um, I'm going to just quickly give you an introduction to your ZTM 101 uh, module, and then I would hand over to um, Mrs. Wilkerbrook to carry on with ZPS 122. So in the ZTM 101, which is your um, pharmaceutical chemistry 101, it is a basic introduction to university level chemistry. So you would have done probably physical science at school, you would have done some chemistry, we are going to be doing a very, very quick review and then building on that. You will be doing practicals in the laboratory um, in uh, 12.03.79. Dr. Baka Abrahams will be presenting the theory lectures and I will then be um, assisting with the practicals. So you will get to see me in your ZTM 101 practicals. All right, so um, I'm going to hand over now to Mrs. Wilkerbrook and then um, after her, then we can have um, Dr. Westrat, please. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Um, let me just see if I can share my screen. So I'm Claire Fulkerbrook. I'm not fancy like all your other lecturers. I'm just a missus, no doctor, prof or anything. Um, so yeah, Mrs. Fulkerbrook. Is that showing, Dr. Clark? Yes, it is. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to be the module coordinator for ZPS 122, which is your um, pharmacy practice stream. Um, so it, as Dr. Clark said, it's pharmacy people and systems. And the two lecturers that you'll have is myself and Mrs. Janet Barry. 
Mrs. Barry is going to lecture the statistics side, um, which will only come in right at the end of the semester. So you'll have me for about 12 or so weeks. Um, so those are our email addresses if you need to get in touch with us. Um, my office is in building 12 on the second floor, room 54, and Mrs. Barry is right next door to me. Um, we also have Mrs. Um, Bulela Salman. She's next door on the other side of me. She's our administrator for ZPS, and she'll be handling all your SAPC, so your South African Pharmacy Council requirements. Because we are a profession, we are, have to um, sign up with a registered body. So you'll have to sign up as pharmacy students with council, and she'll guide you through that process. So at our introductory lecture, on the 15th of February, she's going to be joining us and she will give you all the information you need on how to um, move through that process. OK, so I'm not going to go into too much detail because Dr. Clark actually did it really beautifully for you. But at the top, we have um, our little organogram is Mrs. Abrams. She is the stream advisor. And then Dr. Clark is your liaison lecturer and Mrs. Barry and myself, who um, are your lecturers and module coordinator. So if you do have an issue, you can come to me first to see if we can sort it out. And if we can't, then we will move up the ranks. You know, if there's a test that's clashing, first come to myself or Mrs. Barry, depending on whose test it is. And we'll see if we can't move it around or accommodate you. And if we can't, then we'll go up the stream a little bit higher. OK, so what is pharmacy practice? It's an introductory course. It's going to teach you a bit about our statutory bodies, um, how we govern, the rules that govern us. And we're going to focus a lot on professionalism, what is expected of you as a professional, um, as a student, because you are representative of um, our university department. So how we expect you to behave and conduct yourself um, when you're working as a student as well as what's expected of you when you graduate as a pharmacist. And we'll teach you about counselling, your different roles. We'll look at the different health structures that um, we use in South Africa, the different models of practice that we use. And the purpose of this module is to just give you a really good foundation because you're going to do ZPS all the way from first year to fourth year. So every year you will do ZPS and it will just build on the information that you've got. So we want to give you a really good foundation in first year. Um, the different lecture topics that we're going to have, like I said, Mrs. Barry will be doing statistics for pharmacists. There's 10 lectures on that, so it's a good chunk. And then I will do the pharmacist, becoming a professional pharmacist. We'll look at organization of pharmacy as a profession, which is our professional bodies, our statutory governing bodies. We'll look at the healthcare systems. We'll look at a bit of the national health system we have in South Africa, our models of practice. And then we'll do a little bit on drug development and research. So what you need to know for this module, we don't have any textbooks. OK, all your notes will be uploaded onto Moodle for you, so you don't need to worry about acquiring a textbook. What you do need to do is familiarize yourself with how to use Moodle. That's our main um, form of communication with you. It's where all your notes get uploaded, where you'll upload your practicals so that I can mark them. And on the onboarding app, there's a lot of tutorials that explain to you how to use Moodle. And I'm also going to give you a link at our introductory lecture. So I think it's really important that you use the time before you attend lectures just to know how to navigate it, how to familiarize yourself with it so that you come in prepared. On the Moodle site for ZPS, you'll also find your module outline and your lecture schedule. So read through those, make sure you understand everything. It breaks down how we calculate your marks, what days and times you have your lectures and everything that you need to know about the module is on there. Our lectures at this stage are going to be online, so it's strongly encouraged that you attend the online lectures. Um, a Teams invite will be sent to you, but if you are not yet registered, you won't be on the mailing list. So you'll need to email me yourself um, to tell me you're not registered. So I have an email address for you so that I can send you a Teams invite and you can then join the lecture. So usually what I do is on a Friday, I'll send out all the invites for the week you just have to accept the invites and then you just click and log on to, to the lectures at the appropriate time. 
Um, practicals, they, these are compulsory. Okay, you cannot move through this module without doing your practicals. We are taking a hybrid approach. So the majority of the practicals are going to be mask to mask. So you will need to be on campus for that. And as Dr. Clark said, we work back to back with ZTM. So while you're having a ZTM practice, some of you will be doing ZPS and vice versa. The module itself is a continuous assessment module, so that means that there's no final examination, but we make up your mark based on tests throughout the semester, um, practicals and assignments, so you're continually working towards that, that final mark. Um, one of the important things I think to do is on your device, you need to have a reliable device at home. A, a cell phone is not a reliable device. You can't actually um, navigate all the the tests correctly and all the functions are not available on a cell phone as they are on a laptop. So um, a reliable device and download Teams onto your device because that's how we're going to do our lectures via Teams. But if you attend the lecture on the 15th of February, that's where I'm going to give you all the really important pertinent information. OK, so it's very important that you attend that lecture. If you're going to bunk a lecture, please don't let it be that one. OK. Um, like I said, you'll need a reliable device. If you don't have one, you are able to book PCs on campus. OK, so I would advise that you start getting um, cracking on that, you know, go forward and book, book a um, computer. Um, you also need to have reliable Internet connection. A lot of our tests are going to be done online and you will have um, hand in dates where you need to have your assignments or your practicals handed in by a certain time and we don't accept not having had internet as an excuse because you generally have a week before you have to hand it in. Um, Microsoft Teams I've spoken about. Moodle, that's the, um, the link if you want to go and have a look and play around. You will need to have university credentials. So if you aren't registered, um, you will need to contact um, Help Desk. They can then give you credentials in the meantime and that allows me then to um, manually enroll you onto Moodle in the meantime. So you do have access to the content. Don't wait until you actually register because you're going to miss a lot um, of lectures and practical hand-ins and so on. So start now, get your credentials, and then I can um, log you onto Moodle with um, an enrollment key. Those of you that are registered, you will be given the enrollment key um, on our first lecture, and then you can just enroll yourself. But those who aren't registered, I'll enroll you. Um, our main form of communication is email, so please you feel free to email me if you have any questions at all, or Mrs. Barry if you need to speak to her, um, something related to her content. We don't have a formal WhatsApp group, but there's nothing stopping you guys from in your first year forming a group together. It's nice if the class rep is um, maybe starts a WhatsApp group and then I can communicate directly with the class rep who will then filter it down to all of you. Just to go quick briefly, our lectures and practicals, we have three double lectures a week. Um, a single lecture is 35 minutes, so it's a 70 minute lecture. Our lectures will be on a Tuesday starting at 9.05, a Wednesday at 11.45 and a Friday at 2.25. Those are all online. And then your practicals, you will either be on a Thursday morning at 8 or a Thursday afternoon at 2.25. And those are the venues next to them, 12.02.64. So building 12, which is the pharmacy building, second floor, room 64. Or you'll be on a Friday morning at 8 o'clock. Um, that venue is the biology building, is right down in the basement. Okay, and just lastly, um, my email address again, if you aren't registered, I urge you to please email me so that I can put you onto a mailing list so that you stay up to date with all communication. And that is the email for help desk. They will be able to provide you with your login credentials so that I can then enroll you onto the Moodle page while we wait for your registration. Sorry, there's a truck going by for your registration process. Um, and if you have any questions in the meantime, don't don't be shy. You're welcome to email me, but I am not a tech wizard, so I really cannot help you with any technical problems. Help desk is the place to go. And that is it for me. Hey, uh, thank you, Mrs. Wilthelbrook. Um, thank you for that presentation. And then we're going to have our ZTM 121 lecturer, Dr. Lindsay Bestrat. 
Thank you, Candice. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Lindsay Vestrat. I will be lecturing the physics component um, uh, of your course this year. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, Mrs. Vogelbroek, it looks like we have the same presentation. <laughs> um, OK, uh, let me quickly share my screen. So my goal today is simply to orientate you as a first year so that you are ready um, to hit the ground running when lectures start. For us, it will start on the 15th. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. OK, um, Candice, could you perhaps confirm that you can see my screen? Yes, I can. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you so much. OK, um, so you will only be doing one semester of physics and it will be a joint course. So um, you will be joining the dietetics students um, for your, your physics course this year. There you go. OK, um, these are my contact details. The important detail here, <clears throat> excuse me, is my email address. Um, you are welcome to contact me directly via email um, at lindsayw.mandela.ac.za. If you want to meet with me, you are more than welcome to meet with me um, on Teams or telephonically or in person. Um, I just ask that we arrange a meeting beforehand uh, simply so that I can be available. OK. All right. Um, for this particular course, everything is going to be online. Um, lectures will be held on Tuesdays and Fridays, and that will be via Teams, online via Teams. Uh, practicals will be on Tuesdays online via Teams and all your assessments will be conducted via Moodle. OK, so this is a fully online course. Um, your first lecture is on the 15th of February at 10.25 a.m. Um, and there is an accompanying document to this presentation called Getting Started Checklist or Getting Started Guide um, that will accompany this recorded presentation. Um, and in that Getting Started Checklist is the Teams link to our first lecture. Okay. All right, so just briefly um, about the content of, of the course. Uh, it's not a generic physics course. It's very much geared or tailored towards your needs. Um, so there's essentially two parts to the course. The first part, we look at basic physics skills, um, where we look at things like unit conversions, how to do dose calculations, how to interpret data, how to understand um, instrumentation and how to use instrumentation correctly. Um, and then the second component of the course deals with uh, looking at the physics or physics related to, to the human body. OK, but we will obviously um, I'll give you more details on our first lecture in terms of the content of the course. Um, right now, I really want to get you prepared for your first lecture. Um, as Dr. Fugelbrook, sorry, Dr. Fugelbrook, there we go, sorry. Um, as, as she mentioned, you will need a device and a reliable internet connection. Um, there's no... Uh, uh, prescriptions on what device you get. You could get a tablet or a smartphone or a laptop. Um, I personally prefer a laptop. I feel like it's got more functionality. It's a lot easier to use, um, but that's perhaps personal preference. Um, but whatever de device you get, you need to have a device. If you do not have your own device, um, there are computer labs on campus available, and I would uh, ask that you use the next week or so to either get your own device or make sure that you know which computer lab on campus you will be accessing. Um, you will also need a, a very good internet connection. Um, so that also needs to be sorted out in the next week or so. Perhaps um, Dr. Clark can confirm, I'm not sure, but I think that the students do get uh, data allocated to them on a monthly basis. Um, perhaps you can confirm when I'm done with my presentation. OK, um, so once you have your device, you need the necessary software. Um, you will need um, Office 365 installed on your device that is available to registered students. And I have put a link um, in the Getting Started checklist 
um, where you can find out more about installing MS Office uh, Office 365 on your device. Um, you also need to access Microsoft Teams. Um, I would like you to join our class team before lecture starts. In the Getting Started checklist, there is a link to the Microsoft team or, or the MS team for this course. And there's also the, the join code, <clears throat> excuse me, the code that you will need. So you can join the course team using the code provided in the Getting Started checklist. Okay, likewise, I need you to please connect um, or, or enroll on Moodle. Um, in the Getting Started checklist, I tell you which courses to enroll um, to enroll into in the, the Getting Started checklist. Um, I will advise that you wait to enroll on Moodle after the 3rd of February, um, simply because it's down for maintenance at the moment. I think it's down from the 1st to the 3rd of Feb. So perhaps try the 4th of Feb or even the Monday after that um, to get into Moodle. And then in terms of enrolling for my courses, I would even recommend you do that a little bit later, maybe after the 9th of Feb, just to make sure that all the old data is removed and that um, we don't accidentally remove you from the site when we clean the site. Um, again, uh, if you are not registered or if you're going to be registering late, then please contact me as soon as possible so that I can make sure that you are accessing Moodle. Um, uh, you do not have to wait until you are registered to access the course material. So please don't do that. Contact me as soon as possible if you are going to be registering late so that we can make sure that you have access to Moodle. OK, just um, I'm sure you would have been told this uh, before at orientation, but there are two ways that you can access Moodle. You can either access it directly in your browser. You just go to learn.mandela.ac.za. Um, that's my preferred method. Um, or, you can con uh, or you can access it on your phone. You can either go to the, um, the Apple App Store or you can go to Google Play and download the, the Moodle app. Okay. All right, um, then in terms of how uh, I will communicate with you, my main means of communication is either using um, Moodle or using email. So it's very important that you are on the email mailing list for the course. So if you are registered, you will automatically be on the course mailing list. So again, this is important if you are going to be registering late, please contact me so that I can add you to the mailing, to the mailing list in the interim. Um, also, with this course, there's no official WhatsApp group, um, but uh, you are welcome to have a WhatsApp group administered by the class rep. So I will not be on the WhatsApp group. The class rep will be administering the WhatsApp group. Um, so when you select or appoint your, your class rep, can they please contact me as soon as possible so that we can th that they can create a, a WhatsApp group? OK, um, and then lastly, um, you do not need to buy a textbook for the course. We're going to be using an open source textbook called College Physics. Um, again, all this information is in the Getting Started uh, checklist. So the link to the textbook is also in that PDF. Um, you can use it online or you can download it uh, as, as a PDF. OK, so it's called College Physics. And this is how the landing page would look for that open source textbook. All right, and that is all I have for today. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Lindsay. Um, yes, as far as the data allocation, uh, um, all, as far as I'm aware, the students are allocated um, monthly data or they need to apply um, for that monthly data, I think. All right. Okay, um, okay so Benita, you're going to go and then I will let, or shall I let Chris go first? Are you ready, Benita? Do you want to go? I am ready, but I can also wait. No problem. OK, maybe let's let Chris go first and then you can go afterwards. OK, Chris, over to you. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Clark and colleagues. Thank you. I just confirm if you can see my shared screen. I'm just trying to do that right now. Uh, yes, I can see. Your camera. Benito, are you still sharing? Just unshare your screen. There we go. Can you see my screen now? Yes, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Um, I would like to welcome our first year um, ZFE or pharmacy students um, to Nelson Mandela University. 
By the way, my name is Dr. Chris Ajoni Chebu. I'm your, your ZFP module coordinator. Um, so every information, inquiries that relates to ZFP module can be directed to me, and um, you can easily do that by sending emails um, to chris.ajonichebu at mandela.ac.za. It's important um, for me to quickly introduce you to human physiology department. As a department, um, we basically reside in the Faculty of Science. Um, many of you will be asked at some point to come to Physiology Laboratory, which resides basically at Building 127 um, on Somerstrand South Campus. More details will be shared with you um, with time, but let me quickly talk to you about the vision and the mission um, of our department. Basically, um, our vision is to be a vibrant department that is known for excellence in learning and teaching. We are also involved in research and engagement activities, especially as it concerns the field of human physiology. Mainly, our mission is to create a responsive, stimulating environment that develops knowledge and understanding of the complexities of human body, the skills to conduct world-class research, and also to, also to engage a wider community in distributing, um, I mean, in contributing to a sustainable future. Um, oftentimes, people have tried to define physiology, but the most important definition was um, it's that which is from the Physiological Society and they define physiology as the science of life. Um, very importantly, um, we normally ask people, what do you think is critical about human physiology? And as pharmacy students, why do you really need to take human physiology or physiology as a course? Um, the simple answer is that as physiologists, mainly we study the science of how the body, um, the human body, the functions um, in general and more of what we do is to explore um, you know the relationship between structures and functions we also look into complexities of various bodily processes it could be mechanical it could be chemical and we look also into how these processes are interrelated and this gives us an understanding you know of how the body bodies the human body respond in health as well as in diseased conditions. So in your first year, you will be offering ZFP 101 in first semester and in second semester ZFP 102. Um, <clears throat> there are no prerequisites um, from our side, and I can clearly tell you that both um, uh, modules, that's the ZFP 101 and 102, um, we have, it's a 15 unit credits for both of them. I mean, each of them has 15 units credits. And um, the main content in for your ZFP 101, we are going to cover the basic concepts, you know, in general biology, like what you've done in your elementary stage. Um, we'll introduce you to general concepts in biology. We'll take it further. We'll talk about homeostasis. We also talk about, um, we are going to talk about various concepts that relate to cells, uh, protein synthesis, transport mechanisms, tissues, skin. We talk about uh, musculoskeletal system in general, and then we also talk about talk about nervous system, special senses, as well as endocrine system. Because now that you will, you would have been introduced to the system to system concept in your first semester, so we continue with that format in the second semester where we also go deeper and we we'll talk about several other systemic functions which relates to cardiovascular system, digestion, metabolism, lymph, immune system, reproductive systems, development and inheritance, re I mean, respiratory system and urinary system. And I must say, say that um, these are quite interesting topics because it helps, especially as you continue to grow in your profession. You can then begin to relate, you know, um, pharmaceutical concepts with how the body responds to various drugs and chemicals that you introduce to the body. Um, the main prescribed test book, which we have used over time now for many years, is Anatomy and Physiology, and you see, see it's written clearly on it from science to life. 
and this is basically a third edition. We prefer to use the third edition for this class, and um, it's, a, it's a textbook produced by Jenkins and Totora. I believe that we have this textbook in the laboratory, I mean, in the university um, library. So you can assess that from the university library. If you don't know how to go about this, please contact me or you contact Dr. Clark. I believe somehow we should be able to direct you properly on how to assess that. It's very important for students to at least have an idea, I mean, have a copy, a textbook, because this is very much needed. As we teach you in class, you can also check your textbook to be sure that we are on the same page, and then you can also flow with whatever you've been taught in class. Generally, the module for presentation for this particular course, ZFP 101 and 102, um, for lectures is going to be purely online engagement. And for your practicals, we are going to do both online practical and mask to mask practicals. So um, on a weekly basis, you, you are expected to complete as, to complete at least um, one quiz, which is going to be in a, a practical quiz. And that is very much needed because we need that to help your re-mentalization. And then um, at some point, we'll have to call students, you know, um, to the laboratory physically. And we're going to do that through the departmental coordinators, I mean, through your departmental coordinator, mainly Dr. Clark. So we let you know when um, it's time to come over to, 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 to the laboratory. I mean, physically where we also um, introduce you to several other practical um, concepts and all that. So it's very important also to note that um, for both first semester and second semester, we don't have just one or two lecturers that will be taking um, different topics. We have um, about three, two, I mean about two, three or four lecturers that will come up and take different topics in their areas of authority. Um, Details of individual lecturers and what they will take, you can find that. I mean, you can you can check that up in your module guide, which will be distributed to students very soon. So still on the practical demonstration, usually before the lockdown began, um, normally we, 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 we hold practicals between, we start from 7.45 a.m. on Mondays, and that runs to about 1.15 p.m. you know, um, on that same day. So uh, um, we try not to deviate from the normal um, school calendar or university calendar. So we still stick to this. Um, usually online, you see that we try not to move away from this um, design that or template that we already have. So we will communicate more details to you, but the mask to mask practicals may be slightly different from us. I mean, the timing now may be slightly different from what's obtained. I mean, what you will normally do for the online practicals. So further details will be disseminated through the module guide. So please watch out for that. Then I'd like to introduce um, the human physiology and the staff of the Department of Human Physiology. As you can see, the first person is the professor. I mean, that's Professor Ajera Davids. That's the head of department. We also have uh, Professor Diltry, she's retired now, but she's still um, actively involved in uh, assisting with some um, teaching models. Um, so she 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 has participated, you know, in, the, in, in for for many years now in ZF in the teaching of ZFP models. So um, we also have Mrs. Prahala, which she is also actively involved in the teaching of respiratory and urinary systems. Um, Mrs. Fensham. She's the person coordinating the practical for this particular model. Um, myself, Adjoni Jebu, Dr. Chris Adjoni Jebu, every information that relates to um, ZFP model, please, you can direct that to me. And I will also be teaching in the second semester. Uh, mainly my area of um, my, my focus for teaching is on cardiovascular vascular system. So where we also go into, um, we talk about blood, we talk about the heart, then I also talk about the blood vessels, and then we also talk about several other concepts that relates to cardiovascular system. Uh, Mr. Zono and Dr. Adebe, they are also members of the department. We also have Mrs. Bota, which will also be interacting with you at some point. Um, virtually all of us will interact with you when it comes to mask to mask um, practical. So um, more details about individual staff members you can find out, um, you can check that in your module guide as soon as you receive that. I would like to leave you with this 
um, words of inspiration from Josh Billings, which says, success in life does not consist in holding good cards, but in playing those you hold well. I believe that um, as you've come to learn, um, you know, at Nelson Mandela University, I wish you all the best. And I want to say that please give it your best shot at this time. And um, I hope to meet one to meet you one on one when we have the mask to mask practicals. Thank you very much. That's all I have for today. Uh, thank you very much, you. Dr. Johnny Jebu. Um, I'm now going to hand over to um, Anita Barton. She is our um, ZFC Organic Chemistry lecturer for the second semester. Thanks, Benito. You can go ahead. I don't know if you are um, unmuted, but we can sh we can see your screen. All right, how's that? Perfect, thank you. All right, so um, I'm Professor Barton. I'm in the chemistry department. Um, and um, I'll be taking you only in the second semester for uh, uh, the course ZFC 101, which is Organic Chemistry for Pharmacists. I am not in the pharmacy department. I'm in the chemistry department in an entirely different building. So I've got details there, uh, building 130301. Um, and my email address is benita.barton at mandela.ac.za if you do need to contact me. But as I say, it's a second semester course, so it'll be a little while before I actually get to meet you. All right. Um, I just want to see something here quickly. Uh, doesn't want to go forwards. Or has it gone forwards with you, Candice? Uh, no, it hasn't. Are you in presenter mode? If you go to slideshow. Slideshow from the beginning. Slideshow and from the beginning, yeah, it should work Yes, out. I did. Oh, there we go, now to work. There we go. Oh, sorry, man, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so I don't really need to go into detail as to why you should be doing organic chemistry. Um, everything that we you get from your pharmacy, um, from the hospital, those are all um, organic compounds. For example, ibuprofen, I think most of you have had that, it's an anti-inflammatory. Um, your uh, painkillers, uh, aspirin. Um, in fact, we're actually going to be synthesizing this compound in the laboratory in semester two, so you can actually come to the prep with a headache and then you can take your product and uh, your headache will go away. No, we'd, I'm only joking, but we will be preparing that. Uh, a very uh, simple structure for a painkiller. Then you get your, uh, your other drugs, you know, your THCs and your LSDs, those are all organic chemicals. So there's no, there's no, I don't feel I need to explain why we need to do organic chemistry. It is part and parcel of everything you'll be working with um, in this course. Okay, so how is it structured? Um, there are two components, and as I said, they're both in semester two. Um, we have uh, three 70 minute lectures per week, um, and that's for 14 weeks. So it amounts to about 41 lectures. It's a, it's a massive course. It's also 15 credits. Um, I'm hoping and praying it'll be mask to mask and on campus because that's really the only way to know how to um, understand visually because organic chemistry is a visual course. It's it very much so. It's very difficult to do online, but we have managed in the past. Obviously, we have uh, because of COVID. So if if COVID is still here, which I hope and pray it will be, will not be, um, then it will be, uh, all your lectures will be on Moodle and as voice over PowerPoint presentations. Okay, but hopefully we can actually be in the in the classroom for this module. Um, also, practicals will definitely be mask to mask. None of them will be online. Um, organic chemistry and online practicals, those two things don't belong in the same sentence. So we'll be doing practicals on campus. You'll be splitting to, it depends on how many there are of you, you'll be split into three or four groups and you'll be conducting one prac a week and that's it's about three hours long for a practical. All right, then the, then, um, the course will be continuous assessment. So um, they will, you'll write at least four theory tests with me. Um, and then in addition to that, you will have uh, your practical report sheets. Uh, which you will be completing at at the end of each practical, and you'll hand those report sheets out. I mean, hand those those report sheets in at the end of the prac, and then those will be marked. 
And then there will also be a prep test where we test your understanding of organic chemistry principles, the practical principles. And so all of these um, uh, assessments will then uh, uh, end up being your final mark in a certain combination, which we'll let you know later on. All right, so what will we do? Um, we're going to learn basic organic chemistry principles, um, naming compounds, um, that kind of thing. Please, people, when you start this course, understand it is not high school organic chemistry. We are talking uh, a much higher standard of organic. So come with your guns loaded because I, I do know from last year that people took it so easy. I think most of the people failed the first test. So you need to actually come knowing that this is not going to be an easy course. OK, so we'll do naming. Uh, general organic chemistry principles. We will we'll be looking at how to uh, prepare some things from other things. Um, how to, there's, a, there's a big chapter on aromatic chemistry. We'll be uh, learning how to prepare aromatic compounds from benzene um, and then a whole bunch more. We'll be looking at esters, uh, carboxylic acids, uh, anhydrides, all of that in this course. So come, as I say, with your guns loaded. All right, so listen, good luck for 2022. Um, it's 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 not high school, it's not matric, it's way above that. Um, uh, therefore, you're gonna have to work hard to pass. Um, and then also always remember, this is my little parting shot. You can't only work, you must also socialize and play a bit as well. Okay, and that's my bit, um, uh, Candice, thank you very much. Perfect, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so the last uh, uh, presentation that I'm going to share is from our um, biochemistry. So that is the module that you will be doing in the second semester as well, ZFB 102. And then I'm just going to share the presentation from those lecturers. Biochemistry for Pharmacists is a service course presented by the Department of Biochemistry and Microbiology. There are two lecturers, myself, Professor Van der Venter for Term 3 and Professor Frost for Term 4. The Biochemistry module is presented in the second semester and this year it will be presented as an online continuous assessment module. The lectures will be presented through PowerPoint voiceover slides and discussion sessions on MS Teams. You will have to submit one report per week for either a practical or a case study or a reading assignment, and you will complete a weekly online tutorial. The textbooks for terms three and four are ebooks that are downloadable at no cost from the internet. We start the module with the properties of water, pH and buffers and their importance in biological systems. Then we look at the different classes of biomolecules, which include proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acids. And then finally, we also cover enzymes and vitamins and genetic information flow. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Professor Frost and I will be lecturing the fourth term ZFB course content. Once you have learned about the building blocks of biochemistry from Prof and Deventer in the third term, in the fourth term, we will start with metabolism. We will consider how the, the big macromolecules such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and nucleic acids are metabolized in biochemistry. Once we have completed this, we'll also look at xenobiochemistry where it considers the metabolism of foreign compounds. Foreign compounds in the case of pharmacy students would be how drugs are metabolized. The technical staff member from biochemistry who will assist you with your practical component will be Ms. Madube Dube. 
Your final mark of 100% for continuous assessment will be calculated as follows. 10% for tutorials, 40% for practicals, 25% for assignments and 25% for the tests. More details will follow as you start the course in the second semester. We look forward to seeing you in the second semester. Right, so yeah, that was um, the majority of your lectures, <clears throat> your lectures that you would have met. Um, Dr. Abrahams for ZTM 101 was um, not able to be with us this morning. Um, so he is your ph your pharmaceutical chemistry that you do in the first semester. That um, is his module. So um, he will no doubt be able to share more information um, relating to ZTM 101. The only thing that I can tell you in that regard is that you will have three lectures per week with him. They will be online and the practicals you will be doing on campus um, on Thursdays and Fridays, running back to back with ZPS 122. Um, Mrs. Arista van Jasveld is the laboratory technician for chemistry. She would then send you an email and let you know about your groupings. So anything related to the theory component of ZTM 101, you need to please contact Dr. Abrahams. I'm sure he will be in touch with you. Um, anything to do with the practicals, you can then um, contact me. Um, then the last module that um, we haven't covered yet, because um, at the moment the staff member hasn't been allocated, is ZTM 102, that is your physical pharmacy. And physical pharmacy is presented by a lecturer in the pharmacy department, and you will also do it in the second semester. In physical pharmacy, you learn about the physical properties of substances. So basically, you would take a lot of the information that you've learned in your ZTM 101, and some of your ZFP, and that would then be applied into how fluids behave, um, how heating happens, what happens to molecules, how does solubility work, and those sort of concepts are then very much applied in ZTM 102. You'll also learn how to do the pharmaceutical calculations, um, which again is not high school maths, it is on a slightly different level. But you need to know how to do your calculations from physics. You need to know how to do your calculations from chemistry in order to do your pharmaceutical calculations. Um, also, the units of concentration that you would find in um, pharmaceutics and pharmacy products are not sort of the SI units like moles per cubic decimeter that you would encounter in um, physics and chemistry. So um, that would be um, it will be explained to you later on when the lecturer has been appointed um, all of that information will be made available to you in the second semester. So you will see that the majority of our modules are continuous assessment. Um, by continuous assessment, it means that everything you do is going to count towards your final mark. So that means you can't slack off throughout the semester and then decide, oopsie, I've got an assessment coming up, I need to study. You need to make sure that you are keeping up to date with everything. In that regard, we as your lecturers are here to help you and here to support you. If you are struggling, you need to let us know as soon as possible so we can find a way to assist you. Um, your first year success um, program, you should be paired with a mentor or a first year buddy. Um, please make sure that you keep in touch with that person, you keep in contact with them. And um, also me as your first year liaison lecturer, I'm here to help you walk the journey of your first year through university. It is often a bit of a shock to the system, especially now with this hybrid approach. What's going to happen with COVID, we don't know. But obviously, we want to try and get as many of you back onto campus as possible. So please, when you have to be present for your practicals, attendance at practicals is compulsory. So you need to make sure that you have made a plan to be um, on campus for your allocated practical times. All right, that is about all that we need to cover with you today. Please um, don't hesitate to get in contact with any one of us should you have any queries. And remember that you need to contact um, Mrs. Van Staden, Mrs. Susan Van Staden, for any um, pharmacy related issues that you may have. I wish you all the best and good luck. Work hard, play hard, and remember that you're not alone. You've got people that are around you to support you, and we are here to support you through your journey. We wish you well. Thank you. Thanks, Candice. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I think that went well.
Um, I will then make sure that they have access to your document, um, Lindsay. That's um, getting started, guys. So I'll make sure that they have that. All right. Okay. okay. Bye, guys. Thanks, chaps. Bye-bye. Thank See you, everyone. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye, Bye. 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 Bye Lindsay. Bye.